Hey, Jimmy with Cuff and Stuff. Man, have we got another good one for you today. This is another secret. I haven't found this anywhere. So this is gonna be something you probably have not seen. This is Jimmy's Cube Steak Bites. Now, the recipe was originally for deer cube steak. Um, it has mustard in it. That was to take the game taste out. I really don't taste the mustard in this recipe. Make it, try it the way I'm doing it and see if you can agree. So stick around. This is a good one and hang tight. I've got two, four, six, eight pieces of cube steak. Now this is right from the grocery store. I'm going to take, and as always, we're doing this kind of stuff. A sharp knife always helps, but I'm going to cut this up into bite sizes. And I want to keep them relatively close to about the same size. They don't have to be exact, but I want to cut these up and I'm throwing them over here in the bowl. And the last one, let's cut him up. Throw them in the bowl. All right. So. Here we go. I've got our cube steak cut up. Next thing I'm gonna do, this is just French's plain old yellow mustard. I'm gonna put a good little bit of mustard in here because I want it to cover it up. Now where this mustard came from originally was doing deer cube steak and we were looking for something to take some of the game taste out of the deer meat well not only did it work but it gave it such a flavor that we tried it with beef cube steak and man it works just as well with beef all right so there we go we got it good and mixed up there we go that's it all right so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna let this heat up i'm still getting my oil hot and i'll bring you right back all right while my oil was heating up i have let um my cube steak marinate in the mustard. Next thing I'm adding, this is Uncle Steve's SPG. I'm gonna put a nice healthy dose of SPG on this meat. Stir it up. Put a little more. All right, there's the SPG. Now, I'm getting my oil up, and by the way, this is canola oil. The originator of this recipe told me there's nothing like vegetable oil to do my frying in. My doctor says, uh-uh. So, all right, this in this bag right here, this is potato flakes. This is just, and I'll show you the box. There you go. That's just ordinary potato flakes. And I'm going to put a couple of spoons full of this meat in here with the potato flakes. And I'm going to zip it up and we're going to cover it with potato flakes. There's no flour, no anything, just the potato flakes. All right. 
Let me get a glove. And here we go. That's almost half of that. I'm going to take and shake these off and put them in. Now, I want these bites to fry up to a nice crispy golden brown. Oh, this stuff's so good. I cannot wait to try this. All right, is that all of it? Yep, that's all of the first batch. All right, one more thing I'm gonna show you. Now, this last little bit, I've been putting, this is Uncle Steve's Gator Shake. I've been putting just a sprinkle over the top of it when it comes off. All right, last batch. Looks ready to me. Let's take them off. Mm. I already know. This is, mm. Now, like I said, this recipe was originally done for deer meat, but it worked so good until we're just using beef. So, man, this stuff is good. All right, let's shut this down. I want to put a gator shake over the top of that. And let's go back here where some of this has cooled off a little bit. Let's give us a bite. Oh my goodness. I was right. Mm. The gator shake on the end makes the perfect pop. You really don't taste the mustard. You can taste the salt, pepper, garlic, the gator shake. The potato flakes give it a nice little crunch. If you've never tried, use that. Now, I looked everywhere to see if I could find this recipe on YouTube. I haven't found it. Maybe out there somewhere, but I haven't seen it. This is Jimmy's Cube Steak Bites. Oh, it's a good, hey, I appreciate you sticking around. I wish you could be here to help me eat it. Sorry about that. Until next time, if you haven't already, how about hit the circle up here. I'll have another video for you right here. Boom, you can hit that like button. I'd appreciate it. Until next time, hang tight and be good to one another. Hang tight.